Hi, my name is Helen Zane, and I'm here with my partner, Robert Luo. Our project is named A Novel Therapy for the Treatment of Acute Myeloid Leukemia. Leukemia is a disease that's characterized by the overgrowth of white blood cells in the bone marrow and body. Acute myeloid leukemia is the most common adult acute leukemia. The common methods to treat AML currently are chemotherapy and hemopoietic stem cell transplantation. Although this disease can be treated, most patients relapse in five years after the application of the current treatments. AML is so difficult to treat that there has been no new therapy approved for the past 30 years, so it is extremely important that we identify novel targets and develop novel therapeutic approaches. We thought of ways to identify a novel target for treating AML. We speculated that a gene that was highly expressed in AML cells and supported AML disease development would be a highly probable target gene. Therefore, we screened the AML TCG database from the National Cancer Institute, which contains the data of 184 AML patients and identified about 200 genes whose expression negatively, negatively correlated with the overall survival of AML patients. Here's the data for one of these genes called LILRB4. As you can see, the higher the expression of LRB4 in AML cells, the lower the overall survival of AML patients, suggesting that LRB4 may support AML development. With the help of the researchers in our lab, we selected LRB4 for further study because the lab had available reagents to extensively study this gene. And most importantly, LRB4 has unique properties that made it worthy of selection as an AML target gene. LILRB4 is a cell surface receptor which contains an extracellular immunoglobulin-like domain that combines to its ligand. However, the ligand of this receptor is unknown. The binding of the unknown ligand triggers a conformational change within the receptor, eventually activating the intracellular ITM motif through phosphorylation. The intracellular ITM motif can then recruit phosphatases, such as SHIP1 and SHIP2, that transmit a negative signal to cell activation. LILRB4 is a member of the LILRB family which has previously been found to be expressed by different types of immune cells and has the ability to inhibit immune activation. Therefore, LILRB4 is known as an immune checkpoint molecule. By inhibiting immune activation, these immune checkpoint molecules can indirectly support tumor growth. Regarding the function of LRB4 in normal development, previous studies have not found an apparent phenotype in knockout mice, suggesting that LILRB4 does not play an essential role in the normal development of mice or hematopoiesis. Due to these unique properties of LILRB4, we selected it as the gene for further study. Thus, we hypothesized that LILRB4 plays a key role in AML development, and blocking LILRB4 signaling will inhibit AML development. In order to test this hypothesis, we studied the expression of LILRB4 on human leukemia cells. With the help of the pathology department of UT Southwestern Medical Center, we gathered the expression patterns of LILRB4 on 37 different human AML samples. 18 out of 37 of these human AML samples were LILRB4 positive, which means that more than 10% of the AML cells in these samples expressed LILRB4. Furthermore, a pathologist who assists us say that based on their new unpublished finding, LILRB4 is the best marker for its subtype of AML called monocytic leukemia, which currently has no effective treatment. LIRB4 is expressed tenfold higher on these cells than on normal, healthy bone marrow cells. On the left, it's a representative flow cytometry plot showing the expression of LILRB4 and leukemia stem cell marker C34 on one AML sample. As you can see, LRB4 is co-expressed with C34, suggesting that LRB4 is not only expressed by le mature leukemia cells, but is also expressed by leukemia stem cells. This suggests that if we are to target the small molecule within the patient, we might be able to eliminate both the mature leukemia cells and the leukemia stem cells. On the right is the plot for the model cell line THP1 that we used for a study. THP1 cells are a type of monocytic AML cells. And as you can see, all of these cells express LIRB4, suggesting that LIRB4 is expressed by a subtype of AML cells, namely monocytic AML. To further study the function of LIRB4, we decided to use a loss of function approach which means we knocked down LRB4 expression in AML cells to test its function in these cells. Thus, we designed a specific sequence of shRNA to target LILRB4, expressed it in a lentivirus vector. We infected TGP1 cells with this virus, followed by the measurement of LRB4 expression with RT-PCR. As you can see, LRB4 expression was dramatically reduced after the knockdown, suggesting that the shRNA can specifically decrease the expression of LILRB4. Then, we measured the cell growth of the control cells and the LRB4 knockdown TH3-1 cells. 
As the growth curves indicate, Nata essentially blocks the growth of these AML cells, suggesting that LRV4 is essential for the growth of AML cells in vitro. Thank you, Helen. In order to study the role of LLB4 in vivo, we used an anti LLB4 blocking antibody, which blocks signaling transduction of LLB4. The in vivo model we used is called the uh, and is called the xenograft model. In this model, we injected AML THP1 cells intravenously into NSG immunodeficient mice. Since these mice lack T cells, B cells, and natural killer cells, they do not reject the transplanted human leukemia cells. At a time briefly after transplantation, we treated the mice with 200 micrograms of anti lab 4 blocking antibody. For controls, we used mouse IgG and PBS. 24 days after treatment, we collected the spleen, bone marrow, and liver of the mice. Here are the results of the collected livers. As you can see, in our controls, PBS and mouse IgG, the human leukemia cells have infiltrated into the liver and are propagated to form these white tumor nodules. In contrast, in our antibody-treated group, the livers were smooth and clean with dramatically decreased tumor development, suggesting that the antibody blocked AML development in vitro. In addition to observing the appearance of the livers, we further did more stringent tests. By using flow cytometry, we measured the infiltration of the human leukemia cells into the mouse liver by staining of human CD45, which is expressed by human leukemia cells, but not by any mouse cells. In our controls, as you can see, PBS and mouse IgG, there is clear, there is clear infiltration of the human leukemia cells into the mouse liver. However, in our antibody-treated group, infiltration of the human leukemia cells into the mouse liver was robustly inhibited. This clearly shows that the antibody blocked AML development in vivo. Here's our view regarding the role of LLB4 in AML development. LLB4 can be expressed by both immune cells and tumor cells and has dual functions. As previous literature shows, when LLB4 is expressed by immune cells, it inhibits immune activation which can indirectly boost tumor growth. In our study, we found that LLB4 can also be directly expressed on the surface of tumor cells and plays a positive role to directly support tumor growth. By administration of an anti-LLB4 blocking antibody, we can block the effects of LLB4 on both immune cells and tumor cells. By blocking the effect of LLB4 in immune cells, we can stimulate immunity against tumors. By blocking the effect of LLB4 in tumor cells, we can directly block tumor growth. Therefore, this novel strategy combines both immune therapy and target therapy. Further, LLB4 does not seem to play important roles in normal development or hematopoiesis, suggesting that targeting LLB4 may not have any unnecessary side effects. Therefore, we believe that LLB4 is an ideal target for treating leukemia. In summary, the expression of LILB4 inversely correlates with the overall survival of AML patients. And by using flow cytometry, we found that LLB4 is expressed by a subtype of AML cells, namely monocytic AML. For the function of LLB4, we found that LLB4 is essential for AML cell growth in vitro. And by administration of an anti lrb 4 blocking antibody, we found that it blocked AML development in vivo. Therefore, we believe that this antibody is a promising candidate for curing leukemia. For our future work, first we need to develop humanized antibodies. The antibody we used in our therapy was a mouse monoclonal antibody. This antibody is derived from mice and cannot be directly used in humans since it will induce an immune response in the human body. Further, it will have a very short half-life due to rapid clearance in the human body. Second, we need to identify mechanisms by which this antibody blocks AML development. We speculate that there are at least two potential mechanisms. First, this antibody may directly block LRB4 signaling, which can directly block tumor growth. Second, this antibody may induce an antibody-dependent cellular phagocytosis effect, in which the FC domain of this antibody is recognized by macrophages, which can then phagocytose the tumor cells. Third, we need to develop other ways to block downstream signaling of LIB4. For example, 
we need to develop small molecule inhibitors of downstream signaling of LLB4. Finally, we'd like to thank everyone at UT Southwestern who helped us with our project. Our mentor, Dr. Mi Deng, helped us from the very beginning and gave us advice on solving all our technical issues. Dr. Zhu Gong Liu assisted us, assisted us with TCGA database analysis. Robert Silvani helped us with flow cytometry. And Dr. Hesham Sadek gave us advice and trained us in scientific technique. Finally, we would like to thank the Siemens Foundation um, for making this competition possible. And we'd like to thank George Washington uh, University for hosting us. It's been a great journey. Thank you.